as a child, I walked freely. Letting my tiny feet dance across the grass, I learned to love the woods. Fell in line with the trees. This Minnesota land was as much a part of me as my own voice. I can't believe they never told me. I can't believe it took 15 years before I found out what happened to the original people of this land that I loved like my own. I grew up in a southern town in Minnesota. Spent too many summers wasting time on the riverbanks. My first semester in college, a professor tells me where they buried the 38 bodies of the Dakota men they hanged in my hometown. He says they buried them along the riverbanks. The majority of people who have spent their lives in Minnesota have never been told the truth. So this is it. This land isn't really ours, and the people it belongs to were massacred, and ever since then we've been taking our children to their grave sites and telling them fairy tales. Telling them Fort Snelling is a fun place to learn about pioneer life. We never use the words concentration camp when we talk about that place. We never tell them of the spiritual leaders we drugged and hanged near the base of the fort. We never tell them how angry I was when I finally learned that everything I knew about the state of Minnesota was a lie. I can't even begin to imagine how the remaining population of the Dakota people must feel. They have known this truth their entire lives and they have known it savagely. Does the truth still feel like the truth when everyone believes the lie? The Minnesota public education system has no problem talking about the Holocaust because we can blame those horrors on somebody else, but you cannot talk about what happened here without using the word genocide. Shh. Our little well-kept secret will never have to be heard. We will keep it out of our history books, give Columbus his own day, pretend like we don't have reservations anymore, pretend like we didn't try to sterilize a race of people so they wouldn't be able to multiply, and the worst lie that our state representatives have ever told us is that this is all in the past. Three minutes is not enough time for me to tell you everything you should know about the state of Minnesota, but know this. The word Minnesota is a Dakota word. It means the water that reflects the sky. But blood is thicker than water. And now that I know, I can't stop wondering how much Dakota blood we spilt into the rivers when we hid their bodies in the sand. If we are ever going to be Minnesota, if we are ever going to live up to our name, we need to start talking about that red tint in our waters. We need to start talking.